Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Lynn Wilson. Welcome to my kitchen. And we're not cooking. We're gonna do, well, first of all, I'm so excited. I got a new set of wheels, yes. I am so excited. I've always wanted a pickup truck. Not exactly what I had dreamed of, I must say, but I'm still in love. So let me first of all show you my new set of wheels. It's in the driveway. So let me show you a picture of that and uh, you'll, you'll see what I mean. So hang on and I'll show you. Okay, what did you think of my set of wheels? Was that not just too cute? So I don't know if I'm gonna leave it white. I think I'll leave it white for the summer. But you know, the red truck, oh yeah, in the winter. I said to my husband, we can do some nice uh, geraniums and maybe put that in the truck on the, I'm gonna put it on the back step door. We have two doors, we actually have three doors to the house, but our back door-ish is what we use. Um, because we are so close to a main road, we have had, uh, what would you call it, like tchotchke, you know, uh, garden things, embellishments near the front of our house area. And uh, yeah, people like to steal. So we've lost many a thing and we've stopped doing that. So where I really want to put it, I have to change my mind so I know I can keep this thing. But then I said, oh, in the fall with the pumpkins. And then I said, at Christmas time with a nice poinsettia and greens. Oh my word, I'm so excited. So we stopped at a local, it's called Sloan's Brothers Farm Market. Very, very tiny farm market. Maybe five minutes from our house. And uh, that was sitting there. We went in, we got some vegetables, a couple, just a few things I'll show you. And we looked at it on the way in, we looked at it on the way out. My husband said, we gotta get it. It's just something that you will love. And you'll see in an up and coming haul, I got a mat with a red truck on it for the back door. So that'll be next to it. And I'm just excited. So I had to share that with you. So we went and picked up a sliced watermelon, just a small, I don't even know. Do you know what this came to? I think it was 79 cents a pound, maybe. I don't even know didn't pay attention probably should have but when you're a family of one or a family of a few you don't need to buy a giant watermelon because you just don't go through it so sometimes it's nice when they have sliced they had like um half of a melon uh what do you call it honeydew melon and cantaloupe in the refrigerator there they had 
this watermelon, so that was a good thing. We picked up a mango. I don't know much about mangoes other than I love them, but my husband grew up. You had a mango tree in your backyard, yes. right? Mm -hmm. He grew up in Africa, and they had a mango tree. What else did you have? Mango, uh, and what was the other one you said? Uh, hmm. You had yeah. another fruit tree. You yes, mentioned it last night. Yeah. We had a, a wild fig. A wild fig. He had some other fruit trees growing up in Africa. But he said it was just the right softness. So we might even wait just one more day and have that with breakfast tomorrow. I got a cucumber. Got some nice tomatoes. You know, I live in New Jersey. We're known for Jersey tomatoes. And as you saw in the clips before this, we have Florida tomatoes. I don't. I don't know if Jersey tomatoes are not ready. I don't know. But anyway, we got tomatoes and a head of lettuce. I don't normally get iceberg. Let's see, where's the price on there? Am I upside down? I'm upside down. 50 cents. Little head of lettuce, just a tiny one. Again, when you're a family of one to a family of a few, they had huge heads of lettuce. They were gorgeous. I wanted some of those lettuce leaves, but I won't go through them. It was a waste of money. So for 50 cents, we're making some sandwiches today, making some sandwiches today, making some salad today. I saw Amy Marion makes a macaroni salad with tomatoes and cucumbers and Miracle Whip. And I've been craving it. I've never had it, but I'm going to make it. And then with lunch today, we're having watermelon. So after we went there to the farm market, I got my new set of wheels, got my veggies. I went to Dollar General and picked up just a few things. So let me take you over and show you what I got. So here's just a quick recap, the tomatoes, the cucumber, the guava, the melon, and my 50 cents head of lettuce. So what did I get at Dollar General? Well, I got a few things. So these were, there's three of them in there, as you can see, three handles, three for a dollar. And I've never seen them there before. They probably have been there every time I go, but we never seem to have soup spoons. I don't know what happens to them. And I'm not, they're similar pattern to what I had. I really don't care, but I got two sets of those so we could have them. As I mentioned in my previous video, I am teaching a craft class. So I needed to get this. It was, I think $2 maybe, but it is painter's tape. And I need to use this for actually making cards. So I'll have to show you how I use that, what I use it for, but I picked that up and then I'll be teaching all ages. So. I have some stickers, but I picked up these foam stickers as well. They were a dollar and there's 40 pieces in the pack, different colors, different sizes. So if I have any little people come along, again, this was also a dollar. I thought they were adorable. Actually, any age, I wouldn't mind using that. 12 in the pack, but I wanted to be able to have a few stickers that were definitely kid friendly. Yes, another set of headphones. These are the True Wireless brand. This is the brand I was actually looking for. So I picked these up for Gavin and he doesn't even know it yet. So he'll be surprised. So Gavin has a allowance. We call it his paycheck every month. So when I pick these things up, these come out of his paycheck. These are things he chooses to buy and being special needs, he can't get out and about like most kids. He doesn't own a car and all this good stuff. So these are the things that he gets for his treats picked up a pack of these Sharpie. They were $5, two bonus markers, um, seven per minute markers, and you get a black one and a, looks like a metallic. And I got these to go along with my um, craft class supply kit that I, I don't have any of these right now. I think I gave most of mine away or threw them out. So anyway, uh, the hubby found these on clearance for 70 cents, peanut butter lovers. Looks like more peanut butter than chocolate, but he got, whoop, he got one for him and one for Gavin. So we got two of those. And then I picked this up for me. I saw this with Fallon on Moss Family TV. I don't really like the gold at all, but I like the set for $2.50. And I've been using the smaller tongs. I just, the big ones would pop open on me. They'd almost smack me in the face when I took them out of my jar. And just a small little whisk. Again, we're a family of three and we're no longer a larger family. So, you know, family of one, a family of a few, this kind of set is just perfect when you're making a small meal. I don't know. I just, I didn't, even the peach color is not my color, but 
liked this set. So, picked up some cheese for recipes that I have up and coming. I'm working on a uh, menu for the week, doing some meal prep for three dinners. I have one large package of meatloaf mix, and I'll be making three meals out of that one package, and of course, bring you along. So I picked up the cheese. I thought I had some cheese, and I think my husband used what I was going to use yesterday for lunch. So I picked that up and picked this up just because I like to have those in the house for making some things. I mentioned in my stockpile video, we are out of mayonnaise in the stockpile. This was on sale. This was a medium size instead of the real small jar. I do like Hellman's and it's the squeeze kind and it's probably a better size for us to keep in the stockpile. Picked up two crescent rolls because this is part of the menu. Picked up some bologna. You know what? We don't eat bologna, but I grew up on bologna and I was in the mood for bologna. So we're having bologna. Picked up some sour cream. This was a dollar and this is to go along with the recipe that I have up and coming video for the chopped meat recipes. I picked up the whipped dressing to go with the tomatoes and the cucumbers for that salad that I want to try making that Amy Marion recommended. So I got that. <clears throat> got some cleaning stuff. Dawn Powering Power Wash. I love this stuff. Picked that up. I saw someone on YouTube using this, Mr. Clean, and thought it was on sale. I'd give it a try. I always like to see what other people use and then I try it. Picked up some cleaning. This was on sale. This is, how many ounces is this? Ooh, 70 ounces. 2.18 quarts. This was on sale in case you're interested for $3.50. That's a big jug. Ooh, look at that. So that's pretty good. And got that. And then stockpile stuff. I picked up the Dawn. This was on, this was not on sale, I don't think. I think this was six or $6.75. For about the same size but i like the dawn um for certain things that we clean i think i got some soap on me here i don't know if that's leaking this one had been leaking but anyway i picked up the dawn and then this is my absolute favorite this was also on sale for three dollars and fifty cents at a i like the palm olive smell my mother-in-law only used this and it just reminds me of her i do like the dawn for getting the grease and i use it for stain remover for the wash as well but out of all of them, this is my absolute favorite. I love the way it cuts the grease, the way it washes the dishes. So the girl at the register is asking me, oh, are you trying each one to see what you like better? And I said, no, they all have a different purpose. And I didn't feel like going into it. Oh yeah, it's gotta be the palm olive. I can smell it on my fingers here. I can see it glistening on the counter. Okay, pine saw. This is what I grew up on. My mother always cleaned the kitchen floors with this. I love the smell of it. And uh, we picked that up to clean the floors. We were out. We used the last of it when we had to clean the floor the other night when our dog left us a little package on the floor. And then picked up this weed and grass killer. I know I can probably get it cheaper at Walmart, but I'm not at Walmart. And I needed to get something because we've had torrential rains over the past week and the grass is coming up through my mulch. So I need to spray that a little bit. So that's that. So, okay guys, there's a quick scan of what we got. So I hope you enjoyed that quick video. Got to see my new set of wheels, a few local veggies that I got. Well, local, yeah, out of state, but you know, fairly local. And the rest of the things I got at Dollar General. And Dollar General for me is five minutes down the road. I love it, I really do. Got my $5 off coupon for Saturday if you spend $25 or more, which for me, at Dollar General, I can do that. So I might end up going and getting some more gardening sprays and things like that. I don't know, but I'll just save it just in case I need to use it. And I guess that's it. I got to run, guys, because I'm getting ready to cook. I have a big package of meatloaf mix, and um, some of these things, like I mentioned in uh, my haul, are for me filming this video on how to make three easy chopped meat recipes. So stay tuned for that up and coming. Glad to see you guys. Hope you're having a great day. Love to hear from you in the comments below. And also if you have a prayer request and there's anything I can be praying for you about, please don't hesitate to leave that as well. 
Thanks so much for being there. Talk to you soon. Thank you.